Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we got one for the beginners. I'm going to show you how to insert vertical lines in your report columns in Microsoft Access. But developers don't go anywhere because the extended cut's going to cover some advanced developer stuff. So stick around. Today's question comes from Elena in Grapevine, Texas, one of my Platinum members. Elena says, how do I add straight vertical lines in my access report to separate the columns? It looks kind of messy without them and I want to make it easier to read. Can you show me a simple way to do this? Well, of course, Elena, we're going to use the line tool and simply draw lines on the report wherever you want them. And when we're done, we'll have nice, neat vertical lines just like these. There, I'll zoom it in so you can see it better, right? Now, before we get started, if you have not yet watched my invoicing video, go watch this first. I explain how I build my basic database. It's got a customer system, order entry in it, and invoices. And this invoice is what I'm gonna be using in today's video to put the vertical lines on. You can do this with any report that you might have handy, but if you wanna learn how I built this database, go watch this video. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to or build it yourself from my videos, whichever you like. And in here, I've got a customer form and customers can have orders and you can print those orders out as invoices. And this is what we build in that other video that I recommended. Now, we did put some horizontal lines in this report, but we want to put some vertical lines in it now. All right, so let's go to design view. And I'm gonna turn off the property sheet for right now and let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see the whole thing. I'm going to open up my ribbon by double clicking on it up here. And down here you can see here are my horizontal lines. There's one right there in the page header and there's one right down here in the page footer. What I want is I want the lines to come in through here, right? We're gonna go through the header, probably from this line down, right? And then through the detail section and then in the footer right to that spot. All right, so let's make some room for those lines first. I'm going to just slide these over just a little bit like that. We'll put one of the lines here, and then I'm going to slide this one over just a little bit like that. We'll put a second line there, okay? And if you want to add more, you can. You put a line here. You can put a line over there. You can put as many lines on here as you want to, right? All right, let's go over to our report design, and then the control box here, drop this guy down and find the line tool. It looks like that now. It used to be a straight line across. In fact, Someone just asked on my forums a little while ago, he was like, why can't I find the line tool? It changed. Yeah, they changed it sometime around, I'm going to guess 2013, 2016 maybe. This used to be a single straight line. Now it looks like a, a, a line chart. Anyways, pick that guy. And now that you got the line tool, we're going to come right here. Let's start with the details section. I'm going to click right here and click and drag it straight down, keep it straight, and drop it right about there. All right, and if you miss it, you got to click on it, and you can get the little double arrow there, and you can drag it around. Yeah, that's not easy. I, I have a hard time with this. The older I get, the harder it is to see, too. And you can't zoom in and out in design mode like you can in, like, Word and Excel. That's a little frustrating. Access, guys. Come on. Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to copy and paste this exact guy, right? Copy, Control-C, paste, Control-V. It puts it down below here, but just grab it and drag it and slide it up where you want it over on this side. Do that. Now we'll bring our bottom of the section up like that and now that should look just like that all right let's save it close it and then open it back up again always save close open right open it up and okay that looks pretty good let's zoom in so we can see a little better here not bad not bad we got that line right there between our sections now it looks like it's missing a piece here and a missing a piece down there that's because of the header section we got to put a teeny teeny line teeny 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 little line section right up top here try to say that 10 times fast right yeah i know it sounded like i said teeny titty i didn't i said teeny tiny <clears throat> all right so here's that line section and here's the horizontal line above it we got to put a little teeny tiny line right in there sometimes it's even easier to open this up a little bit so you can work right you can copy this guy too if you want to or just try dragging and dropping a new one all right so here we'll click and I'm gonna come right there and try to drag that down just two pips. And I always miss it. See, I missed it right there. I think you just click on it and drag it, get it up and there. Okay, there you go. That looks about right, right? Okay, so I'm gonna copy that, 
copy, paste, Control-C, Control-V, slide this one up over the top of the other one right there. Okay, and we'll bring our section up. Looks like they match up. Okay, now here's the confusing thing that gets a lot of beginners. You got page header, detail section, right? That makes perfect sense. Now, page footer is in design mode above the report footer, which is weird because when you print preview this thing or print it out, the report footer comes after the last detail section at the end of the report. But on page one, if it's one if it's a one page report, it's gonna come above the page footer. It's really weird, it takes some getting used to, right? But ignore the page footer for now. This is gonna be on the bottom of the page. This report footer is actually gonna be above it, okay? So again, you can draw if you want to, or you can copy these guys. I'm gonna copy this one, watch. Copy, Control-C, click in the report footer and hit paste, Control-V. Now it's gonna come way over here in the left-hand section. Just come over here and grab it, and then try to drag it and line it up under that guy. I think I got it. Okay, looks good. And it's a little bit tiny bit too big, so we're gonna try and make it a little bit smaller, just like that. Let's see. All right, I got it. There we go. So now I'll click on you, copy and paste. Yeah, this is a little tough to do. Sometimes it takes a lot of practice. I've been doing this for a few years, folks. And even I have a hard time with it. See, I even just missed it right there. Click and back it up. And I think it's good. I think they line up. Okay, save it, close it, open it, and oh, they look good. It looked good, and there you go. That, in a nutshell, is how you put vertical lines between the columns on your access report. Right? Looks decent, right? All right, so that's the end of the beginner lesson. Now, here comes a little bit more tricky stuff, okay? And this, we're gonna, we're gonna go into the extended cut here with this. What happens if you've got a long description in here? Remember we covered in the invoicing video, we covered the can grow, can shrink properties, right? If this hyperdrive here, okay, and remember the detail notes are here, right? If this gets really long, let's say I come in here and I just type a bunch more stuff in. Typing, 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 typing. I'm just hitting some random characters, right? Okay, if I preview it now, uh-oh, look what happens. We got a break in our line there. Why? because we drew these lines at a fixed height. And it works fine if you have no notes or you have one line of notes. If you got two lines of notes, then I got a problem. Okay, and unfortunately, if you go into design view and you look at the properties for these lines, they don't have a can grow, can shrink, do they? They're just set to a fixed height. So this is gonna involve a little programming a little VBA and I will cover that in the extended cut for the members silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos not just this one all of them there's hundreds of them by now so there's tons to learn and of course gold members get access to my code vault and you can download these databases that I build but this is what we're gonna do right here we're gonna manually adjust this with some VBA code and it's not that hard I'll show you how to do it in the extended cut but that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button.
you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.